constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The SLFP handed over nominations for the Dulipitia, Atanagala, Mirigama, and Katana Pradesh Sabas, and the Katunayak Sidhu Municipal Council under the patronage of former President Chandrika Banda Naik Kumarudunga. Madam Hitapu, then I did the Mind Rajapak Matagina, Machinui, Cementi Kotai, Sali Bedanoike. State Minister Lakshman Yapa Bevardhan presided over the UPA phase handover of nominations for a number of local government bodies in the Mathur district. If someone who supported the UPFA for many years suddenly asks not to vote for it, the people must immediately decide to reject them. Meanwhile, the SLFP handed over nominations for the Pathahewa Hatta Pradesh Sabha in the Kandy district under the patronage of Minister S.P. Disanayaka. The UNP handed over nominations for the Mathura Municipal Council and Urban Council under the patronage of Minister Mangala Samarvira. Uh, the issue that has arisen in the SLFP is an internal problem. However, amid that problem, I request the SLFP not to allow the return of old faces, making this country a den of thugs and commission seekers. The JVP submitted nominations for the Dodanguda Pradesh Sabha under the patronage of MP Dr. Nalinda Jayathissa. We request the people to vote for the JVP against the government's fraud, corruption and unpunished crimes. Meanwhile, the SLFP deposited bonds for four local government bodies in the Polonaru district under the patronage of Chief Minister of the North Central Province, Peshwala Jayaratna. Representing the National People's Party, Western Provincial Councillor Srinath Pereira deposited bonds for the Colombo and Kadwela Municipal Councils. In the meantime, SLPP candidates for the Maharagama Urban Council requested the Chairman of the Elections Commission to act in a fair manner over the rejection of their nomination paper. We request the Chairman of the Elections Commission to understand that it took three years to remove technical errors in the Act. It is difficult to remove technical errors at once in a nomination paper. Upon that argument, we request him to overlook that error and give the people a chance.